All right, it's minus 30 for the 40th day in a row. Nice little frost all over everything. Ugh. This is disgusting. I'm so tired of winter. I'm I'm taking a trip. I'm out of here. Road trip time. I'm going to the land of the warmth. Stick. Edmonton Airport. I'm here! Hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, there's a nursery. I didn't know that. The people you go to for plants. Is that what it says? That's what it said. <laughs> oh, the, love that. Then they are my type of people. Academics pre-kindergarten. Is there such a thing as academics before you're five? Mm -hmm. I cannot believe that I left minus 30 in snow. Continue on British Columbia. Let's come out to snow. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same way. But when it came out, it wasn't too bad. A bit cloudy or whatever. And then when it's time at Fleetwood, which is about 80 yards from our house, a little bit of dry snow starts coming. And the next one is like, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's bringing it with him, he's sending it ahead. <laughs> Raspberry fields, check that out. Oh man, this is so cool. I'm telling you, dude, I barely can sleep last night. Secret, secret, I got, got a secret. secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure, I'm sure we can tweak the words to that <laughs> for uh, for Senior King. <laughs> Or not like not this past Christmas because for whatever he was like he wasn't allowed down on the That's block right, at yeah. Christmas, right? <laughs> no, yeah. Wife put her foot down, and uh, but the year before no when he did the speech, King's speech, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why I just got the biggest kick out of it. I kept texting him, King apostrophe S Peach. <laughs> like, when are you showing everybody the King's Peach? <laughs> like Ryan, Ryan. I know. <laughs> I've had a few of those emails and notes too, right? You know, like the kind of, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so here's the American border. So many huge fruit farms. That entire thing behind those trees is a fruit farm. Oh, yeah. I wish it were clear like, blue skies. You'd see all the mountains in front oh, of yeah. everything, you know. Like, For sure. Because the start of the Rockies is just up there. I've done a bit of skydiving, and that would be. Uh, <laughs> That would be terrifying being stuck up in a tree. You go skydiving. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> What's the fuck's going on there? I do. I, hey, you Collins should jump out of a plane. Yeah, I jumped out of a perfectly good airplane twice. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know, man. It's uh, that rush will stay with you for uh, for days. Do you know what these buildings are? Like, this is some kind of ag production. They got huge air movers uh, on it. A mushroom farm. That is that a mushroom yeah, farm? So. Yes. Oh, I'd love to take yeah, a tour of one of those yeah, sometime. This would be another one. Oh, big greenhouses. Oh, no, big, yeah. big greenhouses. That, that, that'd be a mushroom farm. There's quite a few of them down here. Yeah. What, uh, what kind of grain crop would they be growing here? Chicory. 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 Really? Oh, I miss. I mean, on a beautiful, clear day, we certainly get the outline of the mountains, and you can see the foothills. But I mean, that doesn't. That's got to be an awfully cold, clear day where there's no particulates in the air. Yarrow. Achillea millifolia. Woo! And just out of thought, he starts getting a nosebleed. And uh, yeah. I was thinking about yarrow because I mean. Yeah, it was always used in battle to staunch wounds. It's like a, we call it a hemoglobin thickener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you should grow it. I'm trying to get rid of it now because it grows like a weed. Yes, right? you know, yep, it does. Uh, I'm trying to get it, but I used to grow it for its uh, for flowers. And, uh, Very medicinal. It makes great juice. Yes, yeah, so I understand. But it's got flowers, but I found that it's one of those. It, it, Reverts back to its white color. Yep. And uh, so I've got yeah. yellow, reds, and then after a few years, all oh, you've got it's is like white. white. Like lupins. Yeah. Right? It's oh, going to turn purple sooner or yeah. later. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, there's a crane. Like the 
bird style. Yeah. Or herring, herring, herring. Just raspberries, and blueberries, and just fields of fruit. Yes. We are in the land of the temperate climate, entering the city of Chilliwack. Woo! What you gonna do when I'm gone? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? My brother-in-law, have you seen this TV show Magnum? Right? I, the new one? In any of them. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, his brother-in-law is like Higgins of Magnum. He's an estate manager for a billionaire. Oh my. Yeah. And this guy's got one of the most incredible gardens that there won't be much to see because of the weather or whatever. Right. But he's got a collection of something that you will never see the likes of again in your life. You probably won't have seen a collection quite like it. Okay. Up till now. I'm going to pop in there right now. Duke's Pub. Not a horrible idea. Not a horrible idea. When we come out, we'll see what we do for time. It's not a horrible idea. I'm just going to put some in the back. Three dollar burgers? What? <laughs> Through the city of Chilliwack, BC. Two stops to make coming out of the airport. Willie's got a surprise for me. We're going to go take a look at something very cool. And then uh, after that, we're going to go take a look at a market garden. Oh my god. Man, how much would it cost to get those rocks in? Wow! Oh my. A Hummer collection. Uh, like of the military variety. He likes his toys. Holy. What year is this thing? It's a 42. A 42. Look at this. A, you got a fire truck. <laughs> You gotta have fire truck. Well, you have to, right? Yeah. Safety first. Yeah. <laughs> no sprinklers. And what year is this? Just that uh, steering wheel. I was gonna say, the steering wheel looks, oh my. Yeah. McLaughlin Buick, is that a British thing? No, McLaughlin was a, a bodybuilder in Ontario. So okay. Buick supplied the chassis and the drivetrain. And then McLaughlin did the coach work. Holy cow, are you, are you kidding me? Yeah. Like I said. <laughs> yeah, like buddy Nassino likes his toys, hey? What kind of engine in that bad boy? That's one of the earliest V8s. Oh. You know, I will say something with these older cars. They had like this graceful, like things curved to them. Oh, everything had great style. Yeah. Right? Like you just style. do not get that anymore. This car is a 1951 Chrysler New Yorker that was built specifically for the Royal Tour in 1951. Oh. So Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip sat in the back seat. Th that's how long ago it was. It was Princess Elizabeth. Yeah, it was four months later that she was born. Not the Queen. Quite yet. Nice. How beautiful, right? It's the one with the pointy top here. Was that not uh, Nazis? Yeah, that's, that's German. That's World War One. And you'll notice the size of it back in the early 1900s. They had a small heads back then. They were small. Absolutely. <laughs> Very square. Yep. Went to BC and got a new car. Right. <laughs> had to leave it there on the road back. <laughs> You've seen a Mercedes like that. Yeah, Mercedes SLS. Gold. 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 This is Owen Aston Martin. This song's a liar.